Hi, VR designer Chris here, and in this video, I want to talk about the early development of the knight. We see the knight at the start of season one, and it plays an important role for the Expanse TV show. The knight was the only shuttlecraft on the Canterbury meant for the purpose of moving personnel to and from other ships, stations, or the surface of planets. When not in use, it was externally attached to the ship. The designs for the knight started off with this 3D model, created by Mike Stanick, one of the set designers on the show. This 3D model was made in SketchUp and was the first official design of the knight. There are some important things to note with this design. Looking at the interior layout, we can see the concept of thrust gravity was being established by having the thrusters below the stacked decks. We can also see in this panel here an antenna array that will later play a part in the story of the show. We then get this design, which is much bulkier than the previous one. Notice the preliminary in red for discussion only. We are so early on in the production that we are still trying to figure out the look of the show. These designs are mostly for conversations and meetings to get the ball rolling. After that, we get a colorized version of the ship that was a paint over of the previous SketchUp model done by Sanford, our in-house concept illustrator. We then get this edit with a muted background color, decal paint treatment, and multiple antenna arrays seen over here. After we get these eight paint treatment concepts which show variations in the color and decals on the ship. At some point the production wanted to go in a different direction. Northfront was now on the team and they made these series of sketches. I think design B is super interesting, I'm just not sure how this design would dock on the Canterbury. So I have a question for you. Do any of these designs look familiar? What about design D? The production clearly liked design D because this detailed sketch was made. We then get this render with more dramatic lighting and detailed texture. Here are some alternative views of the night. Here is an angled top view. And here is a side view. We then get this update render. Basically, they redesigned the outer airlock doors. After that, we get these orthographic views of the top, bottom, and the sides. Here we have the same orthographic views, but now the model is fully textured. This page shows the orthographic views, plus we also have an interesting diagram here with the cockpit labeled in red. Below that, we can see the docking bridge. Now we have these final renders. Notice the pure and clean logo on the side. We also have this top view and this side view. We now have this piece of concept art, which is the knight taking damage from a debris field that was caused by the destruction of the cant. There is also this piece of concept art and do you notice the two people doing a spacewalk? Presumably this is Holden and Amos that are repairing the antenna array like we see in the episode. Oh, shit. I was thinking about including the development of the interior sets of the night plus the antenna array, but I think that might work better as a separate video. Let me know if you would like to see that video one day. If you want to support me and the channel, please consider purchasing my game on Steam called The Indigo Parallel. I have a big update coming out for it, including adding additional branching pathways. And thanks for watching.